Hey guys, Jeff Cheesehead Flipper here. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my, any of my previous videos, but I have found a new place to rent. So, yay me! It's gonna, it's, it's gonna work. It's not ideal, but I didn't have much time left and man, rentals are really hard to find right now. Like we're finding places that were being listed and off the market in seven hours. Like we'd set up the time to go it would be on the market, boom, we'd see it. Set up time to go view it the next day. And then they'd tell us, like, a couple hours later, oh, sorry, sorry, I've been rented. Like, holy crap. I think the only reason why we found the one we did is that my wife knew someone who was related to the person moving out. So we knew before it was even listed. So we went and viewed it. It was listed within an hour. We had been the people that signed the, con the lease for it. So, exciting on that, we'll get a tour of a new eBay cave. That'll be exciting, but for right now, I am at something I shouldn't be doing. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't be doing this before I move, but I jumped on Wisconsin High Bid, like I do. And I bought a crap ton of books. So, I'm in my van with my buddy Palmer. He's, well, he is awake. He's probably about to fall asleep. He's eating some french fries. And I bought just way too many books. I went on the auction site and I just put in like a dollar offer and like every dollar bid on every single thing that I was interested in. I call that an interest bid. It reminds me later when the auction is coming close that, oh yeah, I wanted these ones. And I won just about every single one of those. So pretty much every five books I'm getting is about a dollar to two dollars a piece. And I got like a hundred flats of books coming. <laughs> so I'm gonna go inside and get those and then we'll have a little update. So yeah, that's a lot of books. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got all these books. And some records and some other stuff. Yeah. Got a lot of books, buddy? Yeah. All right, so I don't know what the max load of this van is, but I think we're pretty much at it. And when I opened it up, yeah, a couple boxes fell out. So yeah, probably can't see through that blackness, but this van is completely full of books. Oh boy. So why did I buy all these books while moving? Well, thank you, Palmer. One, it was a decent deal. Two, I expect to get bit out on at least two thirds of these, so I didn't plan on buying this many. That's the way sometimes auctions go. You just end up buying more than you thought. That's a lot of books. So let's get these unloaded to the storage unit, and I'll talk to you later. So I finally got all those books unloaded. Let me tell you, I'm tired. <laughs> Had to put them on a shelf for them all in the storage unit. Got them out there, not gonna sort through them yet. Because, like I said, we're moving soon. I'll worry about that afterwards. So, also, little man, he got picked up by Ma because he was done with Dad's BS, let's just say. <laughs> it wasn't very fun for him. He had a lot of fun at first, but then he's got tired of it. Needed a nap. I need a nap too. So, why did I buy this? van full of books that was actually probably too much books for my van to even handle. Especially when I'm about to move. Because you always got to be sourcing. You have to have a plan on what you're going to do with that inventory. Like, I knew I had enough room in my storage unit for it and I could deal with it afterwards. Now, I'm gonna, once we move, I'm going to scan all those books. I'm going to make three piles. Pile number one, I'm sending it into Amazon. Where I just put it in a box with a little sticker in the back. They take care of everything else. Number two is going to be a lot of fulfilled by merchant Amazon books. Where it doesn't quite pay to send them into Amazon or maybe the rank is bad and they won't sell very fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them, I'm going to keep them myself, then I'll ship them. That way I don't have to worry if it takes a year for them to, to sell or two years, it's not going to hurt my metrics. Now I can have Amazon while I send it back to me or pissed off that I have something sitting in their warehouse that's not moving. 
And it's pretty easy. Drop it in a poly bag, flip it over, slap the label on it, media mail, go. If it's let, currently, if it's under a pound, I only need to make about $6.99 or so to make, make some money on it. Not a lot. But you saw how many books I got. So even a buck or two of pop, that adds up fast. And even some of those low rank books, you'd be surprised how fast they actually move, even FBM. I mean, I don't get it. I only, the general thought most people have for saying books in Amazon is 1 million and under for rank, or that's also 1 million better. So from rank one to 1 million, you send it to them. I make my cuff at 750,000. And I do everything else fulfilled by merchant. And it, like I said, it's got to be self-release. I believe it's $6.99. And then I'll do it. If it's under pound. $7.99. Or is it $8.99? Yeah, I think $7.99 for over pound. Because media mail rates go up a slight if it's over a pound. And, you know, and you see opportunities like this big book buy. You just got to do it. I mean, I don't have, I can't really be handling this right now. But I have enough room in my storage unit where I can get it now, deal with it later. So you always have to be sourcing. You should always be listing. I'm breaking that rule right now because I'm trying to move. So there are exceptions to every rule. <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. I can tell I'm rambling. So if you guys made any big buys recently, do you ever go and find like these massive lots and just throw down and buy them? And I spent about 200 bucks on this, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a decent amount of money I, I put down on this. A little more than I actually wanted to. I was planning on getting outbid on more than I got, but pretty much I spent a dollar or two per flat. You know, there's a couple of bigger flats that I bid like four or five bucks on, but probably two, two fifty per flat. So I'm in this for like maybe 10 cents a book. I mean, I'm sure a book scanner might have come through at some point and scanned these books. However, if my co buy cost is 10 cents, that leaves a lot of books that wouldn't make sense for a book scanner to buy at like three, four bucks a piece where I can still make money on them. And I also notice a lot of those book scanners, they won't touch anything that doesn't make at least like five, six bucks and is a send into Amazon only. So they leave a lot of room for some little bit you know, slow, lower profit ones and also ones that are a little bit slower movers. So I think I'll do pretty good. Kind of look at the books. There are some good looking books in there. Some interesting books. That's another thing about sales rank on Amazon for books. If it has a certain niche audience, that might hurt the overall sales rank because it's not going to be every Joe Schmo looking for that book. However, that certain audience will buy it and that sales rank is deceiving on those type of books. So, well, you guys keep on listing, keep on selling, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.